Hello everyone, today we will be talking about population dynamics and the pest outbreak. Under this topic, we will be looking at population or defining population, demography, pest population dynamics, factors affecting pest population dynamics, population growth curve, population. What is population? A population is defined as a group of individuals of the same species living and interbreeding within a given area. Or it is defined as a group of individuals of the same species that occupy a specific area over a certain period of time. Let's look into some of the characteristics of a population. They are never truly stable, meaning that populations of organisms change or fluctuate from low density to high density and then they fall back to approximately their original size. Population stress may cause sudden and unexpected shifts in the numbers. They share same resources. You'll be able to see in the examples in the next slide. The species experience similar environmental constraints. For example, shortage of food, space, abundance of predators or other similar constraints. They are interdependent. The individuals within the population depend on other related individuals for their survivals. Let's look at the examples of population. Figure 1 shows the population of Japanese green, which is a single species. Here the individual plants share the same resources such as land, nutrition, aerial space, light and water to name a few. For their growth, development and reproduction or for the completion of their life cycle. Similarly, they also share the same or similar constraints such as insect pests and diseases or it could be a massive shift in the climatic conditions such as drought or excessive rain. At the same time, they depend on each other for survival. Similarly, the figure 2 shows the population of aphids on a cabbage plant. Here the resources they share is the surface of the plant for space and its sap for the nutrition. The aphids will go through intraspecific competition. Demography what is demography? The statistical study of any population is known as demography, or demography is the study of the characteristics of populations. It provides a mathematical description of how those characteristics change over time. It can include any factors that influence population growth or decline. Importance of demography. It can be used to monitor population changes and predict future changes, which makes it easier to manage population and resources. Pest population dynamic. As we have already seen in the demography, understanding pest population dynamic is important for interpreting survey data, predicting pest outbreak, and evaluating the effectiveness of control measures. And population dynamic is one of the factors that affect growth, stability, and decline of a population. Pest population dynamics is affected by the changes in the environmental conditions, both directly and or indirectly. Let's briefly discuss how changes in the environmental conditions affect the population dynamics of a pest directly. We have seen in the disease triangle, for a disease to develop, three important elements have to be present, of which one is favorable environment. Likewise, the insect pest requires certain environmental conditions for their optimal existence, such as temperature and humidity range, to mention few. Therefore, seasonal changes of weather or the changes in climatic conditions will directly affect the distribution or dispersal and development of a pest population. The changes in the environment may affect the pest population indirectly by altering the physiology of a host. For instance, under water stress, the nutritional quality of the host plant decreases, thereby making it less appealing as well as less digestible to the insect pest as the foliage becomes tougher. Factors affecting population dynamics. Population dynamic parameters that influence the change in a population are population size, population density, population distribution, fecundity or natality, which is also known as birth rate, mortality or the death rate, the age structure and sex ratio. In order to understand the population dynamics, it is important to have a basic understanding of demography and its parameters or the statistical measures such as population size, density, distribution, age structure, fecundity, mortality and sex ratio. One of the literatures that I have referred to defines population size and population density as same, but here we will differentiate them a little bit. Population size. It is referred to as the number of individuals within a population. It is an important characteristic of a population with significant implications for the dynamics of the population as a whole. Locating all individuals during a census or a full count of every individual is nearly impossible. Therefore, population size is measured through sampling. 
Population display distinctive behaviors based on their size. Small populations face a greater risk of extinction because they may have fewer quality mates to reproduce. They are also more susceptible to random deaths, such as deaths caused by fire, floods, and disease outbreaks. Large population benefits. Larger populations may be more stable than smaller populations because they are likely to have greater genetic variability and thus more potential to adapt to changes in the environment through natural selection. However, they also have their own problems. For example, competition for resources is higher. Shifts in the prey-predator relationships. Here, predator and prey populations cycle through time. As predators increase in its population, there is a decrease in the number of prey. The lack of food resources in turn decrease the predator's abundance and the lack of predation pressure allows prey populations to rebound, lower the fecundity rate and degrade the available habitat. Population density A more complete description of a population size includes the population density. It is referred to as the size of a population in relation to the amount of space that it occupies. Density is usually expressed as the number of individuals per unit area or volume. Example, the number of curd worms in a square meter. Density changes over time as individuals are added to or removed from the population. For example, birth and immigration can lead to increase in density, whereas death and immigration can lead to decrease in the density. Distinctive characteristics of population density at high and low values include uh, density-dependent factors, include events or conditions that change in severity as a population size increases or decreases. Examples of density dependent factors are competition for resources, can be intraspecific or interspecific, predation, low population density of the prey might cause the predator to migrate to higher prey density area, and migration. Similarly, in large population density area, the individuals may migrate to another sparsely dense location diseases. Of course, it is easier for the diseases to spread among high-density populations. And these factors, like I have already mentioned, change with the population dynamics. In contrast, density-independent factors include events such as weather, flooding, and fires that affect all individuals equally regardless of overall population density. For example, a wildfire outbreak will destroy all the plant species and animal species in that area. Population distribution. Population distribution refers to how the individuals in a population are distributed in space at a given time. The individual organisms may follow one of the following dispersal patterns. 1. Uniform dispersion. In uniform dispersion, individuals of a population are spaced more or less evenly. For example, plants that secrete toxins to inhibit growth of nearby individuals can exhibit uniform dispersion. The uniform dispersion pattern can also be found in animal species where individuals take out and defend territories. To random dispersion. In random dispersion, individuals are distributed randomly without a predictable pattern as shown in the figure. An example of random dispersion comes from dandelions and other plants that have wind dispersed seeds. The seeds spread widely and sprout where they happen to fall as long as the environment is favorable, has enough soil, water, nutrition and light. 3. Clumped dispersion as shown in the right hand side figure. In a clumped dispersion, individuals are clustered in groups. For example, it can be seen in plants that drop their seeds straight to the ground such as oak trees or animals that live in groups, schools of fish or herds of elephants. Clumped dispersions also happen in habitats that are patchy, with only some patches suitable to live in. 4. Fecundity Fecundity refers to the number of offspring an individual or a population is able to produce during a given period of time. It is measured in rates. For example, it can be expressed as the number of birds per unit of time, the number of birds per female per unit of time, the number of birds per thousand individuals per unit time. It can have greater impact on the population level processes. While maximum fecundity is constant for populations, realized fecundity varies over time based on size, density and age structure of the population. 
External conditions such as food and habitat availability can also influence fecundity. Density-dependent regulation provides a negative feedback. Here is an example from Cron reported in 1984. In white-footed mice, populations regulate their reproductive rate via a stress hormone. As population densities increase, so do aggressive interactions between individuals, even when food and shelter are unlimited. High population densities lead to frequent aggressive encounters, triggering a stress hormone in which hormonal changes delay sexual maturation, cause reproductive organs to shrink, and depress the immune system. Life mortality Another individual trait that affects population growth is mortality. Mortality is the measure of individual deaths in a population and serves as the counterbalance to fecundity. Like fecundity, mortality is measured in rates, deaths per unit time, usually expressed as the number of individuals that die in a given period, or person death per unit time, the proportion of the population that dies in a given period. Just as in the case of fecundity, mortality varies over time based on dynamics internal and external to the population. 6. Age structure. Not all individuals contribute to a population equally. Individuals can be categorized into age-specific categories, such as juveniles and adults. Age structure can be used to determine the reproductive potential of that population in order to estimate current and future growth. 7. Sex ratio. Sexually reproducing organisms must find mates in order to produce offspring. Without comparable numbers of males and females, mating opportunities may be limited and population growth stunted. Sex ratio too has a major implication on population dynamics. For example, stable populations may maintain a one-to-one -one sex ratio and therefore keep their growth rate constant and in cases where there is an off balance in the sex ratio may either lead to drastic growth rate or death rate. Sex ratio can be manipulated at birth by environmental or physiological mechanisms. To demonstrate this, in 2008, Delmas and his colleagues have stated that all crocodiles and many reptiles utilize a strategy called environmental sex determination, wherein incubation temperature determines the sex of each individual. For example, low temperatures will produce males and high temperatures will produce females. In times of limited resources or high population densities, females can manipulate the sex ratios of their clutch by spending more or less time incubating their eggs. Now let's look into the population growth curve. Population growth curve. The population can grow from generation to generation if the foot is abundant and environmental conditions favorable. This is measured by intrinsic growth rate, which is represented as lowercase r, meaning how fast the increase in the population occurs. The growth rate is said to be either an exponential or logistic. Exponential growth curve. In an ideal environment, the population grow at an exponential rate. The growth curve is smooth and becomes increasingly steep over time which is known as J-curve. Logistic growth curve, the growth of the population almost becomes zero when it reaches the carrying capacity K of the environment. It is known as sigmoid curve or S-curve. This figure shows the exponential versus logistic population growth. In exponential growth, as we have already seen, the larger the population gets, the faster it grows. However, this growth cannot continue for forever in a scarce resource environment. Eventually, the population becomes so large that they run out of resources. As the population density approaches the carrying capacity of the environment, the competition intensifies, birth rate decreases, mortality increases, leading to decrease in the population density. It is represented by the J-growth curve as shown in the left-hand side figure. Logistic growth occurs when population stabilizes below the carrying capacity. This is represented by sigmoid or S-shaped curve as shown by the right-hand side figure. Let's look at the phases of population growth under logistic curve. It has growth or exponential phase, stability phase, and decline phase as indicated by the previous figure. In the exponential phase of the logistic growth curve, it has unlimited population growth. There is a huge abundance of food and space, no competition, no diseases or predators. Here the intrinsic rate of the population increases. Transitional phase. Here the limiting factors slow the population growth. 3. Stationary or stability phase. Here no growth of the population occurs. 
The limiting factors balance the population's capacity to increase. The population reaches the carrying capacity of the environment. This is followed by the decline phase, where the population ultimately decreases.